Hey guys, and welcome back to the Soap Shack. Today we are going to be hanging some shelves and adding some pretty things to the walls. Oh yes, today is a special video because it gets your soap shed 99% functional. Yes. Oh, excited? Yes. Me too. Let's go. I think they may need a little explanation. You're probably right, as always. You're going to see us change clothes throughout this project video, and that's because, like most all of our videos, they don't take place over one day. We may shoot over, a, I think in this instance, it's probably like a week and a half yeah. of reality being squished and cables condensed into a can of one video. So that being said, you will see us change clothes. Hopefully not change appearances We're too drunk. much. Change. <laughs> and we just want to let you guys know that so you're not as confused. Sounds good. Okay. We went to the hardware store and we got the shelves for the additional spaces. We'll show you guys that in a second. Over there we also got one of these. It's basically a PVC flex board. It's sold where the plexiglass is. Angel wants to put it on the soap curing rack to act as a splash guard and protectant so that the good finished waiting to be labeled box and all that soap doesn't get dirty. To mount it, I'm using some of this 3M VHB tape, stands for very high bond. This is actually the same stuff that is most commonly used with vehicles, like the trim on your car, usually, is like stuck on with this stuff. So that means it's really good. We are going to use four pieces. I already have the two mounted down below. I got two more to put on. I'm just going to stick it right to the side rails of this cart, and then this PVC board will just plop up beside it and should work good enough. Nice and crooked. Now comes the fun part of hoping that I got this cut right and it fits in one try. Because it's going to stick wherever it goes. Looks pretty good. Right? Right. So we went to the store and we got one of the four tier shelves that's right here. They only had one and so we got six of these little ones and we figured that we could fill in with it. I feel like I'm being so loud. <laughs> I'm just going to stop and let you talk. So I like that one a lot. So what we're going to do is actually end up moving that one down a little bit and get two more to go there and there. And then we will fill in with the smaller ones in some of the other areas. I know at least three or four is going to go on this wall over here. And then possibly some behind you over in the office area. And then this one that I'm doing. <laughs> yes. the microwave. Shelves everywhere. Might as well use it. Alright, so tell them why you chose white wire shelves over me making more wooden ones. Well, one, I like that it's not as bulky looking. And also, I need to be able to see through right here to my to see my labels on the bottles that I'm going to be putting on here. So, that's kind of important to me. Works for me. Those are good reasons. I would have the same reasons if I worked in here. Here you go. So what's going up there? It'll probably be my colorants. Some of your protein powder, bulk up. <laughs> Activated <laughs> charcoal. <laughs> hey, a protein shake. I got some soap to make we'll bulk up. So Angela is, Angel's going through all of her supplies and kind of getting in my way. Pushing you out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to put the shelves up in the corner and then I'll get out of her way so she can kind of get her materials out and then find what, where she wants with who to go spot square to fit with what. Yep. That's where I just start messing up talking and I just run with it. And just keep going. 
I got a person falling downhill. We have decided to put three on this wall. I did like them spaced a little bit in between instead of being smack dab together. So Sam spaced them really nice. They are tall enough to be not obtrusive with anything down here, but I can still totally reach everything. So I'm ready to put some stuff in them. I've pretty much alphabetized all of my scent oils. And I'm ready to put them up. I know it may seem kind of pointless to go ahead and put most of them up when I don't have my other shelf that we're going to do. But I had them in my laundry basket. And I kind of need my laundry basket back. So I'm going to go ahead and probably put the overage, like what doesn't fit onto this one, into the smaller ones on the side. to Just to get them up and out of the way. And once we get the other one in, I can go ahead and get it fixed better. But like I said, I need my laundry basket back. You may kind of wonder why do we need another shelf right here when everything I have fits? Well since we have the soap shack now I plan on ramping up production a lot and doing making sure we have a lot more ready for you guys to buy. But in doing that I'm going to have to have a lot more of the scented oils so I'm going to need another one just to fill it up with extras. We are going to be going to the bigger bottles also, which take up more space. So another reason that we're going to have to get another shelf to be able to handle all of our materials. Our other shelf finally made it, so Sam went ahead and put it up on the wall. I have more oils coming soon, so we will have definite use for this. Next, we are going to go ahead and try and move the heater over to my desk area. We knew it wasn't really going to work that great up here because it's high, hot air rises, so the floor is not really getting that warm. So we're going to put it closer to the floor, over behind you, in the office area. It may sound weird to say that we needed to warm the floor, but all of my bulk oils are kept on the floor area, so we do need some heat down there. Let's go. I gotta wait for the heater to finish its cool down thing. When you turn it off, it still blows a fan so that it doesn't get too hot inside. So hurry up and wait. Anybody heard any good jokes lately? Huh? Any jokes? You heard any jokes lately? We don't hear a lot of jokes, do we? No. Here's a little behind the scenes thing. Being a small family business where we work from home and everything and homeschool, kids gotta go somewhere. And in the wintertime when it's really, really cold outside, that means they're in the soap room or soapery. So check out the kids hiding spot. It's pretty cool. What you doing? Just playing a game. That reminds me of me when I was a kid because my mom's a small business entrepreneur as well and I can remember hiding under countertops playing with Legos too. So, hey, anybody else out there, kids of small business, what kind of stories or things do you remember? Where did you hide or live while your parents worked? <laughs>
So I've got the heater down off the wall and we got a little bit of a real life issue, but here's a little tip and trick from Sam to you, me to you. The heater originally came with a template to mount on the wall that showed us where to put the screws. That was destroyed and thrown away when we put the heater in here because, hey, we thought we were done, don't need it again. But we do. So I'm gonna use my level and a pencil to make my own template that I can transfer to the wall where we're gonna put the heater. So I'm just holding my level up next to the mounting holes and I'm gonna use a pencil to mark the center point. And now I can take this over to the wall and put these marks on the wall and that should fit. So Angela wants the heater put over here beside her desk chair, which is on the opposite wall of the soap shed, but we're gonna mount it down low that way as it runs, heat rises, and it should run longer to heat the room more evenly instead of just being up top where all the hot air is. So I have held it in place where Angela tells me she wants it height-wise and location-wise and put a small mark on the wall that coincides with where this is. Now I'm gonna take my level over and transfer my lines and put the screws in to mount this thing. It's a little bit of a tight squeeze in here, so we'll try our best getting some appropriate, nice to watch footage. Nice. All right, I'm gonna lay down on the floor and put the bottom brackets in. And then we also are gonna have to rearrange what we have on the shelf here so we don't cause a fire. Fire is bad. I'm here at the wall right above Angela's desk and I'm gonna go ahead and install the shelves on the wall. Before I do that, I need her to tell me exactly where to put them as far as height. And then as far as left to right, we don't have a choice. We're gonna mount the brackets on the stud, so they're gonna be what they are left to right. But I need her to tell me the height based upon what she's gonna store or thinks she'll store. So let me grab her. She's down in my workshop getting one of the kids that ran away. And then we will figure out where we're gonna put this stuff. How far apart do you want these? See, I almost want that one just like a shorter shelf. From Two like, brackets? From, yeah, from here over, so here okay. and there. That's fine. 
What height do you want? Is this the one you wanted to put the printer on? Yeah. Or, I have enough brackets, do you want a short one here and a short one lower? I don't want to get it too close right here because I may end up putting my calendar right here. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to use the bracket. And that would be fine right there. Okay. Alright, this is what I will do. Probably the strongest shelf ever. <laughs> I built it. I think it looks awesome. It looks great. Your head's hiding it. That's all right. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> so we didn't originally plan for them to be two different lengths, but I think it's cool. It kind of gives it an asymmetrical look. And while we're not really worried about this heater as far as clearance issues, because it's really cool heater, if we ever swap it out or do know in the future, there's room. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's still room for you to get to your shelf over here. And I don't know, hang something I'm pretty. not going to hit my head with the chair was kind of the main thing. Right. With the second one. Yeah, definitely head clearance. So, uh, yeah, now it's your job to fill it up with stuff. I think my shed is totally outfitted in shelves and storage areas now. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Does that mean we're done? Does that mean it's done? I think so. I still have to get like totally cozied in, but that could take a month or so. All right. Well, you get cozied in and then we can do a final all in one video. Like I'll do like we did with the greenhouse build. Start to finish full conversion and we'll do the I mean, grand reveal at that point. How does that sound? Well, that would also give you guys a chance to see my full work set up. So whenever you order soap, you can see where I get it ready at, which would be kind of cool too. Yeah. I always like seeing the behind the scenes stuff like that. Oh yeah, I do too. Well, I guess that's, oh wait, 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 we forgot to show. Oh yeah. We forgot to show you guys why I put two random screws on the wall where the heater used to be. Yes. So, uh, let's- We're going to turn you around. Yeah, let's turn <laughs> you around. This might be tricky. The boys are in here and everybody, but hey, hang on to your coffee. So this was actually a gift from a viewer that we had in our Amazon cart. And I love it because I love sunflowers and it's just so perky. I wanted it in my soap shack. So somebody gifted you a painting that was done and everything? No, this is actually a paint by number. And I guess it's kind of like... My new thing that I like to do to get my stress relief. Yeah, your veg out thing. Yes, my veg out thing. It's like uh, you've done coloring books for a while, like the adult coloring books that are complicated and stuff. This one I like better because when you're done, we can actually hang it up somewhere. It looks really nice. Yeah, and it's a lot cooler than just a piece of paper that's been colored. like colored. Or doing puzzles. Right. That used to be my thing earlier last year. Yeah. So. Well, it looks great. I think it looks awesome. Uh, does it come pre-mounted and everything? No, Sam actually made with a CNC a canvas. Frame or stretcher? Yeah. And so it's actually very well supported. So when I'm painting on it and press on it a little bit, it doesn't stretch the canvas so much. Yep. It is definitely beef and built. So, cool. Let's see if I can get it back up here. It looks great. I love it. It adds a little bit of perkiness. It does.
So this is the actual like hardcore working area. I have all my scents up here. On this side I have more scents and then additives and colorants. So they're all within reach whenever I'm actually mixing the soap, which is what I do in these crock pots on these countertops. They're all spread out when it time comes. We have been using the countertops here for processing to get some of your orders out. That's what's here right now. And then we have the nice shelf up here that holds my dishes when I'm not using them, as well as some linens, towels, washcloths, that sort of thing. You're going to have to come over here. <laughs> So here is the curing rack that has been a lifesaver. It's really nice. We're thinking of updating it a little bit, but that will come later. And then this is where the, um, I guess the storage rack is, where when the soap is ready to go, it comes over here. And this is where I pull it from whenever you guys put your orders in, which comes around to my little desk area. I have a printer behind me and then I have my little printer here so I can get everything from my seated position um, and answer emails here and that sort of thing. I do have extra room up top. Right now it is paper storage. I'm sure it'll be many things as the life of the storage shed goes on. I am very happy with my area. It is still evolving where I'm putting things and it is becoming more mine. I enjoy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching as we put some new things on the walls in here and the final tour of the working soap shack. Yep, the tour for now. As we I'm, update things, like you alluded, almost spilled the beans here, giant beans of spilling. I don't know what I'm saying. There'll be more videos and content as we do stuff out here. But as far as the soap shed project, it's kind of been checked off. Woohoo! Nice. Now we can go do something else fun. Oh. <laughs> Let's take a break. Let's run some business for a while in homeschool. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching as always. A little reminder about the shelves that I built for Angela here. I do plan on having those for sale on our website. It was kind of one of my big selling points to Angela to let me get a robot in my workshop. So those should be coming out soon. I have been talking to our members as far as finished styles, you know, raw wood, clear wood, and all that. Kind of a little perk that some clear members wood. get. <laughs> clear wood. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> clear finish. But kind of a little uh, chatting with some meetings of the minds, I guess you could say. And that should be out on our website soon. We'll make sure and do probably a community post or email blast when that day does arrive. But it's getting very, very close. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We love to read them. And other guys other guys other guys leave comments below too we love to read those <laughs> and we'll see you guys next time on the homestead see ya